Hey, it's Nick Artigo here. I'm going to show you how to use suspension trainers to get an incredible strengthening workout in your upper back and the back sides of the shoulders. This is incredibly important if you want to have good posture, which makes you look better and more importantly function better. The better your posture, the stronger you will be without being injured. And that's important because nothing will screw up your progress toward any fitness goal faster than being injured. So grab the suspension trainers, set them at a height where whenever you're lying down on your back, directly under the trainers, arms are extended, the shoulders are being pulled a little bit up off of the ground so you're not completely resting. They're a little bit out of reach. Then, reach up and grab them. Knees are bent, feet are flat. Pull the entire torso up. So right now, only my sacrum, only my sacrum is touching the ground and my feet. And from here, the first move is the Y. Pushing my arms up. A little bit out to the side. Try a few repetitions of that, maybe 8 to 10 to 12. If I want to add a little challenge, I can pick my feet up. After I've exhausted my upper back muscles, with that Y, I'm going to do a T out to the side. Arms are going directly out to the side at about shoulder height. Once I've exhausted the T's, I'm going to do a wide elbow row motion. It's where the elbows are allowed to bend. The previous two movements the elbows were straight on the, on the T and also on the Y. Want more challenge, you pick your feet up. Less challenge, you put your feet down. And then the last movement. So the sequence is Y's, reach a point of fatigue there, then go to the T's, and then the rows. A good starting rep count would be eight of each. So eight Y's, eight T's, and then eight rows. This will work all of the muscles, upper back, muscles that help keep your shoulders back. Always get a good pec stretch before that exercise, it will help you open up that range of motion for better posture, better strength in the upper back. A lot of times it is the limiting factor in upper body strength as well as the grip strength. Got any benefit from this video? Leave a comment below. If you'd like more access to content that's not available on the blog or the regular YouTube channel, then click the link that's connected to this video. You'll have a chance to sign up for the Run Better Now VIP Club. Thank you.